I need to ask you about this crude joke that was told this week by a member of your caucus, a Democratic Congressman Cedric Richmond, at the Washington Press Club Foundation annual dinner at the expense of White House Counselor Kellyanne Conway. Take a listen. And you can just explain to me that, that circumstance because she really looked kind of familiar uh, in that position there. So, Leader Pelosi, the joke was sexist. It was mm -hmm. disgusting. Okay. Okay. Um, shouldn't the congressman apologize to Kellyanne Conway? And honestly, where is the Democratic Party in expressing outrage about this? But I wasn't at the dinner. I'm just finding out about this. But the fact is, I'm still a, a, in a, a sort of a state of what is going on here, that the person who occupies the White House is a person who was on that uh, Hollywood video that said the crude things he said about women. You all are criticizing uh, Cedric for a, 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 a something he said in the course of the evening, and he maybe should be criticized for that. I just don't know the particulars. But I do every day marvel at the fact that somebody who said the gross and crude things that President Trump said, he wouldn't even be allowed in a frat house, and he's in the White House. Well, I think we've covered the, the Access Hollywood tape quite a bit, but I guess I, the question is, if one criticizes only Republicans when they make crude comments, does that not undermine the moral authority if, if um, they don't criticize when Democrats make crude comments? I think everybody was making crude comments. And I, I, just, I, I just don't know. I wasn't at that dinner. But I was at the dinner last night at the Gridiron Club, and we were all, I think, quite, uh, shall we say, respectable. I'll look at what uh, my colleague said there. But uh, I, I do think that in the Oval Office, we were always, always with perfect, with decorum appropriate for the White House.